you can get a deduction for using your car in your business or in your job. Watch the video and find out how. To get a tax deduction for car or truck expenses, the car or truck must be used either in your business, for your job, for charity or moving, or related to medical treatment. Business use includes use by you or any of the employees of the business. It can also include use related to a rental property. You take the deduction for business use on the tax form for that business. Use means actually using the car or truck in the business. That means somebody drove it for business purposes for those miles. Just putting a sign on the car advertising the business doesn't magically convert going to the grocery store to business use. If the miles driven weren't for business, you can't count them. Job use is using your car or truck for duties assigned by your employer. Going back and forth to work is not use that gets you a deduction. There are two methods for calculating the deduction, actual expenses and cents per mile. Both methods require that you know the miles used for the type of use and the total miles for the vehicle for the year you need to track your miles. There's no particular requirement as to how. Keeping a log might help. Writing down the miles close to when you drove them is important. The cents per mile method is the easiest way to figure your deduction. Each year the IRS publishes a rate to use per mile. For 2016, the rates were 54 cents for business, 14 cents for charity, and 24 cents for medical. In addition, you get to deduct any parking or tolls paid related to that use. The actual expense method requires that you keep track of all the expenses related to your car or truck for the year. That doesn't mean you need to keep a receipt every time you go to the gas station. It does mean you need to write it down somehow and keep a receipt for anything over $75. If you use a debit or credit card, your bank or credit card company is writing it down for you, but you still need that receipt from the vendor for the big stuff. You must track the total expenses and apportion them based on the miles driven. Here are some of the key expenses for business use of your car. You get to deduct part of the lease payment or depreciation only if more than 50% of the use of the vehicle is for business or your job. If you lease your car, you must offset your expenses by an amount the IRS publishes based on the value of the car at the time you leased it. Depreciation is an amount, determined under IRS guidelines, that spreads the cost of the car or truck over the IRS life for that car or truck those lives are pretty short. For cars and light trucks, it's only five years. A special increased depreciation amount is also allowed the first year. Depreciation amounts are a percentage of the full purchase cost of the car or truck. There are limits, though, on how much depreciation you may claim in any year. Here's a table of percentages and limits each year. Remember, you must have 50% or more business and or job use 
to get the deduction for depreciation or rent. And you must apportion that deduction based on the percentage of business or job use. Here's an example of how to calculate the depreciation. For more details, see a video on depreciation. You paid $25,000 for the car in 2015. The first year depreciation is 50% of that plus 20% of what's left. That works out to $15,000. But the IRS limit is $11,160 in 2015. Also, you used the car 60% for business in 2015, so your deduction for depreciation is $6,696. In 2016, you have remaining cost after the 2015 total depreciation of $13,840. That's the $25,000 less the limit of $11,160. Depreciation is 40% of the undepreciated balance, or $5,536. Since this exceeds the limit of $5,100, your depreciation for 2016 is $5,100 times your business use percentage for 2016. You repeat this limiting process for later years. If you finance the car purchase and pay interest on a car loan, the interest is one of the potentially deductible expenses. Parking and tolls you pay directly related to business or job use, or for charity, moving, or medical use, are fully deductible. If someone reimburses you for the car or truck expenses, you must reduce the deduction by the amount of the reimbursement. This could be from your employer, your insurance, or the car insurance for the fender bender. Some employers provide some employees with a car or truck. If it's the sort that can be used for commuting or personal stuff, then the employer must treat part of the value as compensation to the employee. This means the employee has to pay income and social security taxes on that part of the value. The employer gets a deduction for the full amount of its expenses. The employer has three choices as to the amount to treat as compensation. First, they can treat the lease value plus all expenses paid as compensation and let the employee claim a deduction for expenses. The IRS has tables that must be used for lease values. The annual value is generally about 25% of the value of the car at the time it was placed in service, regardless of what the employer is paying for the car. The second option is for the employer to track personal use using a cents per mile method, the same 54 cents I mentioned before. For this, the employee must submit a record of personal miles to the employer. Personal miles include commuting. The third method is for the employer to prohibit personal use other than commuting and enforce this prohibition. Under this method, $1.50 for each one-way commute is treated as personal and compensation. Let's sum up. You can get a deduction for business, job, charity, moving, or medical use of your car or truck. The deduction is based on the actual miles used for that activity. You can choose the cents per mile method, deducting 54 cents per mile in 2016. Or you can track your expenses and apportion them based on the percentage of total miles. Actual expenses include gas, oil, repairs, insurance, depreciation, and interest. Depreciation includes additional first-year depreciation, but is subject to limits. The first-year limit is about $11,000.
and the second year about $5,100. And if your employer provides you a vehicle, they and you must treat part of the value as compensation. For more information on this and other tax topics, get my book, Income Tax in the USA, from Amazon.com. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for learning with me.